Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is May 15th of 2018, and it's uh, almost noon here in Fort Worth, Texas. Echo, what's the weather? Right now in Fort Worth, it's 82 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today's forecast has intermittent clouds with a high of 89 degrees and a low of 69 degrees. I was just looking at some of the uh, CNN headlines. Um, I just, the other day I ordered from New Egg uh, a UPS supply. I imagine, I, I wonder how many, well, I think probably a, a lot of people have surge protectors in, which I do, you know, on your wall and extension cords that are, you know, boxes that have a little surge protection in them. I uh, wonder how many people at home uh, use a UPS unit. I would, I think a lot. I, I did. Mine, I had one that though broke a few years ago, and I haven't, repl I didn't replace it. I do have uh, one of those small units across the room that you can just plug three or four items into, and the battery isn't very big, but it's intended for your cable modem, your router, uh, and I've got a, a, a phone, I'm using voice over IP, so the phone is plugged in there, but over here, I uh, haven't had a UPS unit for uh, a long time, and uh, it's gotten worse for some reason uh, where we're living with, uh, actually, the it seems to me, and I'm sure I'm wrong in this, but the uh, losing power didn't happen very often, and we didn't have, you know, surges of uh, very often, occasionally, but not not so much that I was really worried. And the power company put in a special line or something running back there going into a fire station. They trimmed the tree limbs, and I'm not sure exactly how they did the, the hookup, but after that, uh, we seem to have a lot of power. When the wind is blowing hard or uh, if it's really raining hard, we have, and that scares the heck out of me. Uh, trying to remember if I've ever lost any, I know when I lived in Belton, Missouri in a mobile home, uh, the power, we had, there were two power companies that came into that mobile home park. One side, you got it power from Kansas City, Missouri. The other side, you got it, I think it was from Peculiar. <laughs> I think that was it. it. I know it was out in the country. And the line had to run, you know, through trees and forests that nobody messed with. And we, our side of the trailer park, we, actually I lived on both sides of the trailer park for for a few years on the one side that got the good power. And then uh, when my mother passed away, I sold the trailer I was living in and moved into her trailer. And then it was oh, a constant, it was bad. And uh, one time we had a power loss and I came back and lo we lost, it came back or whatever. And I was, you know, looking around and Whatever. I had, and kind of a coincidence or odd, but I had my uh, hand up near the thermostat and uh, standing and looking around or whatever, and then all of a sudden, God damn, and the thing was melting. The transistor or diode or wherever it was was melting from this surge. So... Uh, but anyway, I haven't had uh, a UPS unit. Uh, I did have, had one when I was in Miami, and you really needed one to, in Miami. And I think I, I think it made the trip up here and I had it for quite a few years and then finally died. So I uh, purchased this from New Egg the other day and it just arrived a few minutes ago. And uh, 
it's behind me. Can this is the back of it? Oh, well, let me see if I can lift this. It's not that heavy. I mean, well, for me it is now, but it it's heavy because of the battery. Oh, and uh, well, let me first show you the back of it. Of course, you can see a better picture on the. Uh, but this is the back of it. But uh, 900 watts simulated sine wave, uh, 12 outlets, and they, they always have them. I, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe you could spend more money and get, uh, and in this case, well, you get a number of different numbers, but in this case, there's uh, six, and six are surge protection. Well, all 12 of them are surge protection. Uh, six are only surge protection, and the other six, you have the battery, you know, backup uh, and surge protection. Also, I got this, which is coming tomorrow. You think they would have sent it a free, but they're sending it separately. A three foot six outlet surge protection with a six foot extension cord. Um, of course, you can also run your cable television through. You can also run your networking cable through to try to take the surge out. And here you have a serial port and a USB so that you can plug into your computer and run software that shows you, monitors and shows you a lot of stuff. And that also, I believe you can, I'm sure you can set it because the old one could do that. Although I didn't really use it. You can set it up to tell it what you want it to do when certain conditions happen. And so I'm here 99% of the time, unfortunately. If I wasn't, you know, like if I was working, then I probably would program it that if there is a power loss, a surge or whatever, here's what to do, shut down, you know, the uh, equipment and leave it shut down, I guess. Or probably you can go in there now and you could probably go in and say to turn it back. I think I would just program it to shut it down and leave it shut down until I got home. But uh, so you have a reset button. They said that, uh, by the way, this has, I think the other one did too that I had. Uh, you can purchase a replacement battery. I suspect that the battery cost so much that uh, you might just decide I'll just buy a new, you know, a new unit. I didn't check to see what the replacement battery would be. I think that's everything on the back. Oh, my. It's terrible to get old. Uh, so this is front out on and off button. They said to uh, charge it up for eight hours. They said that it appears to be charged to me, but they said that in the instructions, or well, I think I'm on top of this, that they have it set up so that it won't accidentally come on. So I, I made that by having it uh, totally discharged when you get it. It didn't appear to be, but so uh, anyway, I'm, I've got it on charge. And one of the main things too for me is. Uh, Let's go to the back of this thing. There we go. There we go. That gives you a better look at it. I've got, you know, every plug-in in this room is a surge protector plug-in that goes in the wall. They also supply two or four USB ports. I don't think a hard, I think I've used maybe one or two over there. Um, But for everything I'm running here, so I come out of the plug-in in the wall over to an extension cord at this end of the desk. Then I run with an extension cord over to this end of the desk and there's an extension cord there that's, you know, I've got it uh, tied to the leg of the desk. Well, and that's it, except there's a, that's separate, you know, back there, there's, uh, so what I'm looking forward to is, you know, having this one device 
mainly plugged in and then plugging all my computer stuff into this one box instead and that I I don't think I'm going to need an extension cord running across on the floor as long as I've got this I'm pretty sure so we'll see how that goes uh, there is a on and off switch I've already got it plugged in so it's already on I believe so I'm going to push display there you go let's see I'm not sure how let me switch to this camera up here whoops I don't want to smash my keyboard I have a very nice keyboard that I don't use all the function don't need it you know I don't everybody not everybody but people with uh, well it might be better to move this just bring this around here that's better isn't it except I don't want to see my old face and sagging neck but uh, getting some light from someplace is that from the window I'm not sure but uh, so we have 97 percent apparently 97 percent battery charge so I don't think they did send this uh, so let's let's go display uh, 400 well of course this should last for 405 minutes but of course they they're assuming that you don't plug in you know space heater or something which which you shouldn't do you know but uh, let's see minutes uh, voltage input 121 volts uh, 60 cycles kilohertz used to be kilocycles but they made it to kilohertz uh, in the old days see so input is 60 cycles output is 121 volts 60 I think I think we're seeing the same let's see okay this is output and etc etc shows you a whole bunch of information over here appears to is a mute switch so I think that's I think you can silence it when um, when you have it go that's one thing with uh, with my with the old one that I had I don't believe there was a way to mute it permanently so when the when we would have a power loss for like a few hours and I forget how long with nothing turned on or with it no with just a battery going on the thing the uh, the thing would beep and I have hearing difficulty but it was loud it would beep and just keep beeping for the entire time that you had the power loss I can understand that you you um, perhaps you're gone you come home or something and you come in and they don't know there's well I guess you'd come in everybody I think would know they had a power but uh, anyway beep so I think this silences that so if we have a power loss for a hour I haven't looked at all the instructions on this I bet there's a way well when I turned it on I do get a beep let me turn it off Okay, I think I'm holding it turns it on well it sounded the same to me but it'll charge up even even if I don't have it turned on and then I'm going to uh, use it and I'm really looking forward to getting stuff I've I've never been diagnosed with anything but I wonder if I don't suffer from one depression uh, maybe I've suffered from mild depression all my life not suicidal or anything like that but uh, I don't know just I think I could have had a little more enthusiasm or a little more joy in my life of course I was married with children 
that sort of might be a reason I'd be depressed. Um, just kidding. Ha ha. Um, oh, but the other thing I was going to say, I, I, may, I may have a little bit. I don't think I, maybe I did. It seemed to me like I might be recent. But I want things. I have two whiteboards in here. I want them to be, you know, I don't have any pictures, but if I had pictures, I'd want them to be, wouldn't want one down, you know. Uh, and cords. I just don't want cords just laying on the floor. I want them, you know, with use a tie or something around them to keep them together. I want them, uh, things. So I think this is going to maybe, going to maybe help me. So let me see if I can, you might get to watch me uh, fall on the floor here and collapse or whatever. Let's see if I can lift this. Oh, man. I worked all my life, a lot of times, two jobs, and I really worked. Uh, when I worked, I gave 100% all the time, no matter what I was being paid. No matter what the working conditions were, I uh, uh, and so I'm not lazy. Well, I am now because I can't do anything. I live in an apartment complex, and uh, you know the mailboxes are down by the office, not very far. Uh, it's a small apartment complex. But I, uh, I take my cell phone with me every time. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to make it back. And if anything, what's this thing weigh? 26 pounds? Uh, you probably see it, and I don't. Just go ahead and tell me. Uh, anyway, I've got a dolly, but... So when something comes in, they leave a lot of stuff. This this time, they, they came to the door with this. This was FedEx. They're pretty good about coming to the door. UPS is 50-50. Sometimes they bring it to the door. Sometimes they just take it to the office. But when they leave something in the office, I take a dolly down and, you know, and definitely I wouldn't have been able to carry this back. That's, that's sad. Um, I mean, I, for first 10 years of my life, maybe more, maybe a little longer than that. I was a welder. I built railroad cars. Uh, then later I worked for several different companies where we made trucks. Uh, I worked for KDB, a dark truck company, actually a dark truck company, which was a subdivision of Kenworth. Um, we made the I worked in the body shop. Uh, we made the gigantic trucks, some of them the size of this apartment, some bigger. They most All of the trucks that we made were too big to fit on railroad cars. We had to build them and then uh, disassemble them somewhat and then put them on railroad cars. Um, I was working with, you know, steel, this... Uh, and like I said, every job I had, I, no matter what it was, but now I can't do, I can't do anything. I'm 77 years of age. I thought that when all that work that I did, of course, later than I was working security and, uh, well, we owned a couple of businesses and things. Uh, I thought that I I didn't go and exercise uh, every week. I didn't go, but I worked all the time. And let me tell you, young people, uh, I don't know what kind of work you're doing, but you better take my word for it. Uh, join a gym or get yourself an exercise cycle or uh, something because... I was really surprised when I got older, and I was still working at that time, 
and I was not in condition. I was out of shape. Um, first time I really um, realized it was, of course, it was wintertime. Nobody should be doing any exertion, but an employee's car would not start, and it was fairly close to the emergency garage. And so I went, and it was snowing. I went over and I pushed the car into the garage so that the car would heat up and start. And I got, I pushed it into the garage. And I didn't tell anybody, but I was, I started having shortness of breath and I thought I couldn't get my breath in. And that was the first time I think that I ever experienced that. And I thought, well, this is, I'm gonna die. Because that's how it felt. It felt bad. It felt scary. But like I said, I didn't. I, I thought either I'm going to die or it's going to pass. And it passed. And then after that, I was. Uh, then, a, you know, a year or two later, I was ordered down to the main hospital. I went back down there for a year. And during the time that I was down there, I remember this one occasion, a, a very fancy car came into the ER parking lot and the man jumped out and he said, uh, my father's in the back seat. Uh, he had a little bit of pain. He was okay, but he, he in the back seat, he, as I was driving here, he was complaining the pain was really, really bad and that... Uh, now all of a sudden he's not you know conscious. So when he, of course we're opening up the door, another security officer, Max came with me, and we opened up the door. And I told I looked, and I told Max I started getting the guy out. I told Max you know get a wheelchair and get a nurse. I think this guy has an aneurysm. And uh, so Max came back with a wheelchair, and we got the guy in a the wheelchair. Their legs on this damn wheelchair did not work. So I had the guy's legs, and we, Max was pushing, and I was running with this guy into the ER, and we took him straight on. Well, the nurse by that time, I said, I think it's an aneurysm, and we went straight back into the room. And uh, anyway, then luckily, well, then all the staff was there, and I didn't have to, I wouldn't have been able to lift the guy out of the wheelchair and up onto the table. Max could probably have done it by himself, but I mean... The staff was there, and they did it, and I was thinking, thank God, because I wouldn't have been able to do it at that point. I knew I was in trouble again, and I stumbled back to our little, at that point, security desk there, and then Max was, I was the ER for two hours. We switched every two hours. I was the ER security officer, and Max said, I'll, uh, I'm going to go back on patrol, and because we had two cars going, and uh I said, Max, wait a minute, just wait a while and see how I do or whatever. He didn't realize, you know. And I'm not sure he even realized then. I just stood there thinking, am I going to be able to get a breath in? And uh, and finally I was okay. And I said, okay, Max, I'm I'm okay. So, so after that and then after I retired, and I retired shortly after that, um, I've done what I can do to, I know, you know, I could go into that type of uh, condition pretty quick by overexerting myself, <laughs> carrying this from the office, and I think it's like 29 pounds maybe. I, well, I wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't have tried it, but if I'd have tried, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have made it. My grown son lives with me. It's, it's heavy. Um, he could have, you know, he could have brought it. He'd have been sweating. Uh, he could have brought it with it. But, uh, of course, uh, this was delivered. But if it hadn't been, I would have taken the dolly down. But just pushing the dolly back with it on there or pulling it would have been really too much for me. Old age sucks. But there again, let me... You know, let me tell you, uh, and two, if, you know, I eat too much and don't exercise, hard to exercise when you, 
I've got a pacemaker in, I've got a bunch of, I have diabetes, type 2. Uh, I'd be, if I lost, you know, I'm not, a lot, a lot of it's my fault, but take some advice from an old man. Uh, it'd be so much, I'm 77 years old. I love computers, love the internet, uh, love, you know, amateur radio and photography and all kinds of stuff. It would be, I used to get some pretty good pictures. And one reason I got good pictures in the past was I would get down low. And then I also used a, uh, in the past, before digital, a single lens reflex. I had a, well, I had, I mean, a um, twin lens reflex where it was great. You look down through it. You can do the same now with you know, digital cameras just by rotating the screen, if they have a rotating screen. But I got some really good pictures that wasn't because I was a great photographer. It was just because I could get, now I see some things around here, you know, flowers and uh, bees and and various things that I would like to, but I can't. If I got down, I probably wouldn't be able to get back up without. So if you want to enjoy life, save money uh, no matter what you know if you're if you're 18 or 20 or 25 and you're working at McDonald's or something like that I know or someplace like that doesn't have to be fast food it could be other you know but save 10 percent and save 10 percent yourself uh, don't count on social security but social security will be there for you no matter what Trump or some of the others try to do. Social Security will be at, save 10%. If you work for a company and you can get a tax sheltered annuity set up or something, uh, maybe the company will pay in uh, a certain amount or match what you pay in up to a certain amount. Or what. Save that in addition to Social Security. I had a number of tax sheltered annuities, but I changed companies. And instead of just keeping it, or rolling it over into the next plan or whatever. I just cashed it in and bought computer stuff or photography stuff or amateur radio stuff or uh, something with the money. But don't do that. Save that. Save 10% in addition to whatever, you know. Take the advice of an old man. Um, I'll probably let you, uh, that thing's going to work uh, fine. If you watch my videos, if it doesn't work fine, if there's a problem or if I discover something fantastic about it, if it's actually uh, a way to communicate with aliens and they tell me that uh, they're going to make me a king of their planet or whatever, I'll let you know. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and... It's a little bit afternoon. I may just take a nap. Thank you very much for watching.